Hi, welcome to Food Network. I'm Susie Fogelson. And I'm Maury Thomas. We're on the lookout for great home cooking talent. And home cooking potential. And we understand you're interested in showing us what you can do. And now we're coming into your home. Oh, I always hate this part. But I wish the TV was a little larger. Look on the bright side. The food is going to be gigantic. So now that we're here. Are you ready to impress us to cook or be cooked? If you're going to impress us, you will need to learn how to move around in the kitchen. Just like at home, in Cook or Be Cooked, you should follow the Food Network recipe step by step. At the cutting board, you will find all of your ingredients. Have a look around. I love bacon and eggs, but first things first, let's boil water for some fresh coffee. Always use your recipe to perform a step. Cooking is a hands-on experience, so be ready to move your hands during every step. Next, we need to add a little heat. Look for a glow to know which knob needs attention. Now you're cooking. In Cook or Be Cooked, a watch pot will boil. Take a look below your recipe. That's a cooking timer. I can't wait that long. Let's show off some Cook or Be Cooked magic. You might have noticed, we've been keeping score. The better you cook, the higher you score. Get ready. When the cooking timer reaches zero, whatever you're cooking is perfect. But pay attention, it won't stay perfect for long. Quick, use the recipe to remove the pot. Perfect! At the end of each challenge, Maury and I will judge your meal in several categories. The most important one is cooking. Always remember to turn off your burners. Nice work, Chef. Mmm, this coffee is perfect. Maury, what would you say the most important meal of the day is? All of them. Breakfast, Maury. The first meal of the day? Well, yeah, if you're going for the obvious answer. But many don't feel like they have the time in the morning to make a good, wholesome breakfast. Do you have any advice for home cooks? You'd be surprised how easy a home-cooked breakfast can be. In as little as 10 minutes, you can start off the day with a delicious plate of bacon and eggs. Now, you need to prepare two recipes. The first thing a chef needs to think about is how long each recipe takes. See the time at the top of the recipes? That tells you how long each recipe takes. When we taste your food, if it's cold... I don't want to eat cold food.
Remember, it's not how fast you go, it's how good the food tastes. Since you want each recipe to finish at the same time, you need to start with the eggs, which takes just a little bit longer than the bacon. Check the recipe, you'll need some oil next. Use oil instead of butter since it can take more heat. Technique is as much a part of cooking as anything else. Now swirl the pan to spread the oil around evenly. Practice will make perfect, and perfect earns big points. Now, add the eggs. The fresher the egg, the higher the yolk sits in the pan. Seasoning can make or break your meal. Too little means bland food, but try not to overdo it either. was worth the trip through the TV. Now that the eggs are cooking, it's time to start the bacon. If you perform steps for one recipe while another recipe is cooking, that's multitasking, and you will earn big points. All right, chef, the kitchen is yours. It's easier to neatly place bacon in a cold skillet. Be sure to check your recipe times and keep an eye on your timer. Cooking bacon over medium heat melts the fat away without burning the meat. And we'll be keeping an eye on you. That's the way. Cover the pan to concentrate heat evenly so the tops cook through before bottoms brown. Good luck. Good job so far. Ooh, I like my bacon crispy. I love watching a recipe come together. Mmm, it's starting to look really good. Bacon will get crispier as it drains. Eggs with a side of bacon. Let's see if you've made a great start to the day. Mmm. I am amazed. Perfect balance of taste and presentation. This is amazing. You've earned a cook or be cooked gold medal.